KFC BBL 13, player of the tournament is Matthew Short. Come on in, congratulations, absolutely brilliant. Back-to-back -back awards done in style, 83 more runs, a strike rate of 10s plus on last year's award. What do you put the success down to? Oh, look, it's a, it's a tough question to, to answer, Mel. I think, um, you know, getting the opportunity a few years ago um, at the top of the order, um, something I'm really grateful for and something that really took off. Um, I think it's something that suits my game at the moment. Um, Albeit, I think this week's going to be a bit, bit of a challenge um, through the middle, but a challenge that I'm um, looking forward to. But um, yeah, I think I'll just bring it down to Dizzy Gillespie um, giving me the opportunity at the top of the order. Yeah, so it's got nothing to do with the fact that you're now the full-time captain and you're opening the batting and the bowling and doing it all? I don't think so. No. I'm <laughs> trying not to put too much pressure on myself with the bat. But um, yeah, look, it's just, um, you know, I think it's my, it suits my game pretty well at the top of the order. Um, and it's really nice to bat on Adelaide Oval for half your games of the year. So. Um, Thanks to the curators at Adelaide. <laughs> I think we all like batting at Adelaide Oval, but when you look at your performances as well, you were consistent across every venue in every condition as well, and that must be a highlight for you over the season. Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, yeah, it's nice to bat on Adelaide, but I'm pretty proud of being able to capitalise on other grounds as well. But um, yeah, I think sort of put a big emphasis on starting the tournament well and um, really sort of getting that momentum. And, um, you know, I think the last couple of years I've sort of Started well, but um, sort of failed a little bit towards the end and, and died out. But um, I put a big sort of emphasis on, um, as I said, starting well, but then keeping that momentum going. And um, yeah, it's something I'm proud of um, that I did this year. Did that help in terms of selection with the IPL and then Australian selection as well, just to make sure that you can keep that consistency going right throughout? I think so. I mean, yeah, it was really nice to get a taste of that this year. It's, a, it's been a massive 12 months. Um, yeah, I'm really grateful for the, the opportunities that I've gotten. Um, yeah, I guess I'll bring it down to that consistency in the big bash. It's probably been a big thing in um, you know, some of the selections that I've had over the last 12 months. So, um, yeah, it's something I'm really grateful for. Well, congratulations to you. I'm sure you've got a few people to thank as well. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, as I said, um, the guys at the, the Adelaide Strikers, um, you know, I'm really grateful for the opportunity that, that they gave me a few years ago at the top of the order. Um, you know, and then the captaincy this year um, it has been pretty challenging, but, uh, yeah, one... One I've really um, took with both hands and um, you know, hopefully we can build on, on what we've achieved this year and, and go one or two better next year. So um, again, the guys at Victoria as well, Chris Rogers and, and the staff there, I think um, you know, I've really put in the time um, over the last few years and um, you know, it's, it was a bit of a, bit of a challenge um, to, to get to where I am now, but um, yeah, a lot of hard work's been, been um, you know, put in uh, for this moment. Um, but yeah, I guess, um, you know, it's really looking forward to, I guess, you know, the opportunities I'm, I'm getting in the next couple of weeks with the Australian team. Um, you know, albeit not, not the strongest team, um, and I'm just trying to make the most of my opportunities, um, you know, that I'm being given. So um, we're really looking forward to that. So thank you.